Hi, my name is Aditya Rata. I am an intimacy coach and today I am going to talk about why we need to transform our sexual energy, why it is important. So first we need to understand when there is a boy or a girl around the age of 11 to 14, nowadays it may be early, the boy will produce sperm and the girl will start menstruating. That means they have the power to create a new offspring. Right? So this power will now make these, uh, you know, these children like adults and in their lifetime nowadays maybe maximum to two to three children they will produce and possibly maybe seven, eight if uh, they want to have more. So men, if they are healthy, they have a good health uh, up to 60, 70, 80, they can have sexual energy, they can engage in sexual practices. But what will happen after producing a child or after having a few sexual encounters? The sexual energy will keep on getting produced below the navel, right? It is like it's a creating power. We call sexual energy as a creating power because it creates a baby, right? So, you know, a beautiful being it is creating through this power. So that is the reason it is called the creative power. We don't want to keep on creating children, right? So we don't use this energy a lot after some time. But what happens is it is getting generated all the time. It will not stop generating even when a man is getting up to 70, 80, even after menopause for women, the sexual energy keeps on getting generated. So now if the men, you know, they thought if they can control the ejaculation, they they feel they have a lot of energy, right? If a man does not ejaculate for ejaculate for some time, they realize, okay, I have energy, you know, I feel stronger, I feel nicer with this. So the same concept, the uh, Taoist master. Now these master were like nature master, roaming around in nature. They lived by the nature. They uh, discovered that if you don't ejaculate right after some time you store a lot of energy and they said every time you make love men does not need to ejaculate so this is something like a different shift they brought to love making to the sexual uh, you know practices and they gave something like a golden rule they said if you are very young maybe uh, around the 20s you can ejaculate uh, in four days if you are around you know 20 to 30 you are in that span 30 years right so you can uh, ejaculate in one week so if you are around 40 you can ejaculate in two weeks this is how the golden rule they have given and by no means they said that you will not do sex or you know you have to abstain from sex or no fap no they just said you don't need to ejaculate every time you are making love so what happens when someone is making love? There are two phases of it. First, when a man or a woman, they will start engaging in sexual practices like they are hugging and kissing, they are touching each other. They will have this arousal energy, right? This arousal energy will activate the gland system and these glands will start secreting hormones, right? The feel good hormones and, you know, more testosterone or, you know, for the women, it's estrogen. All these hormones will start coming. And the second thing that happens is when there is this, uh, you know, arousal energy, the lot of hormones, it will start activating the, uh, um, the organs, the organs of the body. Now this organ, this organ has powerful energy like the heart, the liver, the spleen, pancreas, everything will start giving the best energy to the orgasm. So the orgasm has two kinds of energy. One is the arousal energy coming from the gland and then the organ energy which is coming from the organ and it is going to be very powerful, right? So this power, the, the man and the woman, they both generate this whole power to give to the offspring because the body does not know, you know, oh, you are just having sex for fun or not. The body is very innocent. It just knows whenever you are having sex, oh, that means you are creating a baby. So the heart, the lung, all the organs, they are pumping to the best to give to that, uh, you know, the sperm or the, uh, the um, uh, egg for the woman, right? And you, it want to transfer to the offspring.
right so what happens is uh, this energy is mostly you know wasted so both men and women they need to learn this practice of how to make use of this extra energy which is there when you are not producing a baby and a man needs to teach the son and the women needs to teach the daughter about this energy cultivation because what happens is the man needs to learn how to transform this sperm into energy or like we call prana the chi or the life force energy right and the women need to learn how to transform you know this milk because uh, she is continuously pr producing milk in her glands though she is having baby or not the menstruation is happening so she is producing this sexual energy either uh, you know she is engaging in sex or not so she also needs to know how to transform this energy into uh, you know like a, uh, like a life force energy so that it can be used there is no other sources of energy that we can have like an extra dose right either we are taking some kind of intoxicants right to feel high but that does not stays for a long time only when we transform this sexual energy because it's like an extra energy it's like an unused energy most of the time we can transform this energy to make us more energetic more healthy more creative uh, more spiritual right we can use this and uh, the Taoist master they say men are fire they are fiery they use their energy quickly the fire is extinguished very quick and for women it is she's more watery so the water takes a lot of time to boil right so that, that is sometimes is the problem with men and women because he wants fast men wants to go fast and women they are very slow they at least take 50 20 minutes to you know warm up and you know the water how it boils very slowly right so men needs to slow down to you know to have uh, that um, uh, understanding that uh, uh, vibration match with the women otherwise uh, they they are going to burn their fire very quickly right and so this is the practice what we do is the testicle breathing the ovarian breathing for testicle breathing for men ovarian breathing for women and uh, that will help to uh, you know um, turn this unused energy in the sperm it will turn this energy and then you know to pull the energy up and rotate it throughout the body so that it is nourishing all the organs so you see uh, we are um, it, it says the energy can be used to revitalize our brain this energy can be used to revitalize our organs so that we get more healthy our sexual organs are more healthy not only the sexual organs, others organs are healthy and especially the brain and the opposite happens if a person is uh, doing a lot of masturbation and all these sexual practices, the brain is getting drained, right? It is said, uh, oh, I'm cooking up my brain with all these things because um, all the brain is getting drained, right? So these practices will help to, um, you know, it's like a, a very beautiful practice where the person is inhaling and exhaling in, in the testicles and uh, women can inhale and exhale in the uh, in the ovary. Right? And you will feel this um, orgasmic energy, the sexual energy getting accumulated there. Then uh, you start rotating that energy first, circling that energy. Right? And you really feel when you do that. Right? You need to learn how to move this energy. You need to know uh, how to direct this energy. You can say, now you go up, it should go up. Now you go down, it should go down. Right? That's how the healthy body is. And uh, this is the uh, sexual mastery, um, what uh, every man and women should learn. Thank you for listening.